perhaps the best known occult spy operating in the Second World War, and in fact long before, is Aleister Crowley. In the 1930s, there is the first solid evidence that Crowley was recruited by MI6 or the SIS. This was to spy on German occultists, with political links to the emerging National Socialist Party and the Marxists' revolutionaries. One of Crowley's possible targets was Albert Karl Theodoros, the founder of the magical group OTO. Another prominent member of OTO in Germany, and controversially was later to become its Grand Master based in the USA, was Karl Gamer. In 1933, the year that the Nazis took power in Germany, Crowley met a Welsh eccentric aristocrat, Viscount Krieger. His haunted house was near Newport, in South Wales, and was the site of famous wild parties to which he invited a wide mix of social types, including Huxley and H.G. Wells. One of his more unusual and notorious house guests was Rudolf Hess, very significant in the light of later dramatic events. Lord Dreechida had also visited the German home of Ernst Grohm, the head of the SA. Both men also shared a male lover. Lord Trudeau belonged to an occult secret society in London called the Black Circle, which had the traditional 13 members of a witch woman. In it, the aristocrat was known as the Black Monk and was even painted in the hooded black robe, which all the members wore for their ceremonies. When Britain declared war on Germany in September 1939, Lord Trichida was recruited by MI5. This, despite his occult beliefs, but possibly his unusual connection with Churchill could be an answer. Another link between Crowley and the intelligence services was his friendship with the homosexual Tom Dryberg. He had been a society gossip columnist on the Daily Express and paradoxically had joined the British Communist Party in 1920. With contacts in the worlds of politics, high society and the gay scene, he was an ideal informant for MI5, although it was rumored he was also an agent of the KGB. be continued.